Dozens of dying trees are to be cut down in Aberdeen to halt the spread of Dutch elm disease. It's estimated there are around 400 affected trees in the city's parks, gardens and streets. With more, here's Ben Phillip. Tree-lined streets are a common sight in Aberdeen, but scenes like this are at risk due to the spread of Dutch elm disease. The deadly fungus attacks the root system, resulting in trees dying of thirst. Branches become crooked and bark falls off, but it's spreading and there's no cure. So the council have said they will have to continue a programme of tree felling. And this is the end result. Just tree stumps and logs being left behind after trees here at Dainston Country Park were cut down in the city council's bid to try and prevent the spread of this deadly disease. There are 100,000 trees in the Aberdeen city area, many of them hundreds of years old. The council have removed 70 in the past two years alone, stating more must be felled to prevent the fungus spreading. This has been going around since the 1960s. People have thrown all sorts of chemicals at it and tried this, that and the other. Really the only, the only thing to slow it down is to cut it down as soon as you're aware of it being there and that's what many councils in Scotland and across the UK do. They survey closely to identify it as soon as it appears and get rid of it. Areas highlighted for tree removal include Rose Hill and Westburn Drive. Locals' opinion divided. Well, it's not environmental destruction, it's environmental management in my book, so I don't see a problem with it. Yeah, it's a shame. I mean, I work at the dental school and we have such a lovely view. I walk here every morning up to my car, so it is a bit of a shame, yeah. The Woodland Trust say it would like to see any trees removed replaced with saplings, protecting our native tree species and woodland for future generations. Ben Phillip, STV News.